Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by. So I'm gonna do a book review and this is titled The Darkest Touch. This is the book 11 of the Lords of the Underworld series written by Gina Scholter. So I'm gonna give you information from goodreads.com and then we'll go from there. Fears the immortal warrior, host to the demon of disease. Torrens every touch, causes sickness and death and worldwide plague. Carnal pl pleasure is utterly forbidden, and though he has always overcome temptation with an iron will, his control is about to shatter. She is Keely Kale, the Red Queen. When the powerful beauty with shocking vulnerabilities escapes from a centuries-long imprisonment, the desire that simmers between her and Torn is scorching. His touch could mean the end of her, but resisting her is the hardest battle he's ever fought and the only battle he fears he can't win. The genres this book would belong to would be paranormal romance, paranormal romance, demons, and fantasy. This was first published back in November 25, 2014. So just so you know, Torin is my favorite out of all of the lords. My favorite. Um, so ever since I picked up and I finished book one, I have been waiting patiently and excited for Torn's turn. And this is the cover. It looks pretty hot. Yeah. Um, so Torn's character, um, I, I can definitely picture him looking like this, except for the hair because he has long hair. Um, it's a, it's the exact color I would, yeah, cause he has like, he's very blonde. He's incredibly blonde. So I, everything else I, that's, I, he fits perfectly in my imagination of what Torn would look like, except the length of the hair. That's it. But anyway, um, so I love this book. Torn's my favorite. He, I've always been interested in him since book one and every, every time he's been brought on, and um, he he shows up in a, a different book, um, the more I'm just so drawn to him. So when this became his story, number 11, I was just like super giddy and like, oh my God, I can't wait to read it. So um, Gina Scholter does not disappoint. This is um, probably my favorite equal to number 10 of the series from the series i love this and number 10 as well i have read this a few times yes a few times and i'm proud to say that um this doesn't disappoint him and keely they have a, a huge challenge just because torrent can't really touch skin to skin he has, um, he is possessed with the demon, demon of disease. So, um, he always wears, he, he's pretty much covered. He wears a turtleneck, he wears gloves, he wears long sleeves, all that. So becoming intimate and, um, just being, I don't know, like, what would be the term for that? Just like normal relationship things like holding hands and just like touching someone's arm or face or something or like kissing and stuff like that is really hard for him to do so the journey to know all that is really interesting and also there's a, a huge kind of um a, a roadblock when it comes to keely and his family which would be the other the other lords and their significant others um so that's really interesting too so um one out of ten stars i would rate this as a 10 i love this book so much um i give this two thumbs up and if you've never heard of gina Scholter, lords of the underworld series feel free to pick this up as well as the other books um in the series that's already been published because you're definitely not going to be disappointed. I know I'm not. I, you know, I love this book. I love this series. Um, I would, I would suggest you start from book one though, just because he does pop up 
out in a lot of um, in a lot of the books of the series and I wouldn't really want you guys to go through like oh what just happened like who's that what's going on why did that happen why what's going on you know like a lot of just what why how all these things so I would always suggest you go from the book one you know go in order and you reach book 11 um, it's definitely one of those books that will make you just keep on reading it's kind of hard to put down I enjoyed this book and you know what I got to see a different side of Torin because Torin and the other books are oh he's always like scared and in, in the defensive kind of way because it's hard like he can't he can't be affectionate with anybody like even if it's just like a friend um, or anybody else it's kind of hard for him to have any kind of um, touch even if it's just a brush on somebody so I think you know you kind of take that for granted if you know like someone like me and like an everyday person that doesn't have that kind of issue so it really kind of opens your mind and my mind as well like everybody's not the same I'm pretty sure there's somebody else out there that might have like super sensitive skin maybe or a certain type of skin that maybe they have some kind of skin disease or a health issue that they can't expose their skin they can't touch anybody so anybody can't just touch them because the other person could get sick or they could get sick so I don't know it's kind of like giving me some kind of life <laughs> life and um, some kind of life um, wisdom in a way so um, again I recommend this so much and and maybe I'm a little bit biased because Thorin is my favorite he I have a huge crush on him and he's probably my soulmate <laughs> Um, thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you guys have any suggestions on similar context, similar content, similar subjects, similar writing uh, from this particular book, please, please, please um, suggest that down below. You don't have to suggest other Gina Scholter books because if I don't have them, I'm pretty sure I will get them. I think I have most of her books, if not all aside from the ones that haven't been published yet so keep that in mind if I already own a book and I enjoy that book from that author I probably already have the rest of their books I'm just crazy book hoarder that way so if you can suggest other authors or other particular uh, actually a specific book um, that would be similar to this that you believe I would enjoy because I enjoy this book right now the darkest touch so much um, I would be eternally grateful because I always I oh I'm always in a hunt for um, for books that I haven't read yet so um so you know feel free to chat down below if you guys want to chit chat about the book if you've read it not read it or you enjoyed it not enjoyed it feel free to chat down below i love hearing from you guys i love chit chatting with you guys and um thank you so much for stopping by and i'll see you again next time bye thank you so much for watching my video please uh, hit the like button subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified whenever i do upload a new video don't forget to expand the description box because as much as possible i always try to get coupons for you guys discount codes and other goodies uh, like that um, i also have my twitter information instagram snapchat and for business increase i have my email there as well thank you guys and i'll see you again next time bye